Viktor Felixovich Vexelberg is a Ukrainian-born Russian businessman. He is the owner and president of Renova Group, a large Russian conglomerate. According to Forbes, his fortune is estimated at $13.6 billion, making him the fourth richest person in Russia, as of August 4, 2015. Vexelberg is close to the Moscow Kremlin, overseeing projects to modernize the Russian economy. Early life and education Viktor Vexelberg was born in 1957 to a Ukrainian Jewish father and a Russian mother in Drobich, Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. In 1979, he graduated from the Moscow Transportation Engineering Institute. Thereafter, he worked as an engineer and research manager at a state owned pump manufacturer. Career In 1988, after the Gorbachev administration relaxed restrictions on private business as part of his new policy Perestroika and Glasnost, he founded NPO Comvec, which did work for the Irkutsk aluminum plant and in 1990, he co-founded Renova Group with college classmate, Leonard Blavatnik. Comvec owned 67% of Renova and Blavatnik a Euro unregistered trademark S company Access Industries owned the remainder. He benefited financially from the privatization of the aluminum industry in Russia under the Yeltsin administration in 1993. In 1996, he co-founded the Siberian Urals Aluminium Company via a merger of the Ural and Irkutsk aluminum plants using revenues generated from his aluminum business, he purchased a minority interest in Tumen Oil, one of Russia's largest oil and gas companies. In 1997, he secured a controlling interest in Tumen and was appointed to the board of directors. In 1998, he was appointed chairman of the board. Later, he integrated those and other assets under the umbrella of Renova Group, delegating operating responsibilities to managers. In 2003, the Renova Group, along with Access Industries and the Alpha Group announced the creation of a strategic partnership to jointly hold their oil assets in Russia and Ukraine forming the AAR Consortium. In the same year, they merged AAR with British Petroleum's Russian oil assets in a 50-50 joint venture named TNKBP, the largest private transaction in Russian history. Acting as a chairman of the executive board of TNK, Vexelberg was instrumental in negotiating and closing the transaction. Vexelberg is now overseeing a vast restructuring of his assets, the division of property with partner Leonard Blavatnik, the merger of Renova's aluminium assets with those of Oleg D. Repaska, and the integration of various electricity and telecommunications investment. Art Collection In February 2004, Vexelberg purchased nine Faberger copyright imperial Easter eggs from the Forbes publishing family in New York City. The collection was transported to Russia and exhibited in the Kremlin and in Dubrovnik in 2007. Vexelberg is the single largest owner of Faberger copyright eggs in the world, owning 15 of them. In a 2013 BBC4 documentary, Vexelberg revealed that he had spent just over $100 million purchasing the nine Faberger copyright imperial eggs from the Forbes collection. He claims never to have displayed them in his home, saying he bought them because they are important to Russian history and culture, and he believed them to be the best jewelry art in the world. In the same BBC documentary, Vexelberg revealed plans to open a museum to display the eggs in his collection. The result was the Faberger Copyright Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia, which had its official opening ceremony on November 19, 2013. In September 2006, Vexelberg agreed to pay the approximately $1 million in expenses to transport the Lowell House Bells from Harvard University in the United States back to their original location in the Danilov Monastery and to purchase replacement bells. The historic bells returned to Moscow on September 12, 2008, with the assistance of the U.S. Director of the organization, Edward Mermelstein. Vexelberg had paid a £1.7 million at a Christie's auction in 2005 for Odalisk, a nude said to be the work of Russian artist Boris Kustordiev. However, soon after the purchase, experts working for Vexelberg's art fund, Aurora, began to cast doubt on the picture's authenticity. They claimed that Kustordiev's signature, dated 1919, was done in aluminium-based pigment not available until after the artist's death in 1927. Vexelberg sued Christie's, 
and the judge ruled in July 2012 that he was entitled to recover the A1.7 million pounds that he paid for the painting, plus Christie's was ordered to pay around A1 million pounds in costs. Family, he is married to Marina and has two children, a daughter and a son. His father is Jewish, and his mother Christian. He identifies himself as multinational, and attends neither synagogue nor church. He donated $4.5 million to the construction of the $50 million Jewish Museum and Tolerance Center in Moscow, and is the chairman of the museum's board of trustees. He finances the restoration and construction of synagogues in Russia, including the construction of the Choral Synagogue in Saratov. Controversies In April 2009, Swiss Federal Finance Department initiated a criminal investigation against Vexelberg in connection to alleged violations of securities law. As a result of the investigation, Vexelberg was fined $38 MLN by Swiss authorities. In 2008, Vexelberg proxied a deal between Russian and Hungarian governments, buying the former embassy building from Hungary for $21 MLN and immediately selling it to the Russian government for $116 MLN, while the market price of the building was estimated at $50 MLN. Investigation of the paper trail by Alexei Navalny and the Rosbill project has found several invalid and backdated documents, thus suggesting a collusion. Hungarian officials responsible for the deal were detained in February 2011. On the Russian side, a criminal investigation was only started in August 2013. References External links, Forbes, Victor Vexelberg, Renova, Made in Russia, Victor Vexelberg.